if my what you see don't come through in tomorrow, I'm gonna have a heart attack, bloody skin right now. Well, you know what? Yeah, if you truly are broke right now, yeah, you just need to learn from this the situation that you're in. Yeah, more than likely you put yourself in this situation. So you have to accept responsibility in that. That's the only way you're gonna get out of these situations and learn from these situations. When you look in the mirror and you say to yourself, Do you know what? My silly actions over the years, yeah, have put me in a position where I'm skinned right now. Especially if you're of age. If a man's 17 years old, then no. If a man's fucking 21, 25 years old, yeah, you gotta learn from the situation, my friend. It's no one else's fault apart from yours. All the rich people, the reason why they're rich is because it's their fault. And all the poor people and the homeless people, the reason why they're broke is because it's their fault. All of them people there, man, used to make them videos about them old people. Um, freezing cold in their yard and that. It's all their fault. It's all their fault, especially them lot as well. They have no excuse not to be on, uh, not to have properties and that. Because back then, right, the interest rates were high back then, like four percent, what, what what they are now, yeah, back then. But at least they will be on, I don't know, twenty grand a year or ten grand a year. And the property that they want to buy is fucking only eighty grand, um, eighty thousand pounds or something like that. Or like I remember, I think my grandma bought a property in um, Bushell Park. Yeah, that's where my mum was. That's where my mum grew up in Bushel Park. My grandma bought a property there in the late seventies, early eighties for twenty grand. Imagine that twenty grand right now. Yeah, the property is worth like six hundred. Yeah. So them people, them old people there, the ones that are like 60, 70 years old right now. Yeah, they have no excuse to be broke. They didn't bother get on a property ladder when it was easy back then. Fucking property prices weren't that much higher than fucking wages. Yeah, now it's like fucking 10 times your wage. Property price back then was probably like four or five times someone's wage. Now it's like 10, 10 times someone's wage. Even, even people like in like Northampton and that, they ain't got no excuse not to, to get up the property ladder than that. Bro, you could buy a one bed flat for fucking 130, 140 grand, bro. Come on, man. It's a 10% deposit. You ain't got 13 grand. You ain't got 14 grand. You ain't got 15 grand to your name to put down a 10% deposit on a property in Northampton. Joking, bro.